are you tired of eating the regular fried rice or you just want to try something new and you don't mind trying out a new recipe hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is abisola in this video i'll be teaching you how to make this yummy and delicious goat meat fried rice so in my pot i'm going to add my vegetable oil then i'm going to go ahead to pour in my diced carrots green peas and then i'm just going to go ahead to stir fry this for a while the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add some nice vegetables because you know there's no fried rice without vegetables and there's no vegetables without fried rice well i don't know if that makes sense so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add my red pepper pepper and then the green pepper pepper so i'm going to stir this for a while before i add other ingredients please guys if this video is very helpful let me know in the comment section and also share my videos so guys this is very important to stir fry your vegetables before you use it for your fried rice one of those things i learned is that when you stir fry your vegetables it helps the rice from spoiling on time and also it makes the fried rice taste very good so the next thing i did was to add my sweet corn to the vegetables and then i kept stir frying it so guys are you guys seeing the colors <laughs> the colors are popping like so beautiful so then i'm just going to go ahead to add my salt garlic powder and ginger powder then i'm just going to stir for like two minutes and then i will take out the vegetables after you added the ingredients by now eh, you know that your rice aroma eh, it will have gone over the roof and everybody just asking ah, ah, what are you cooking so at this point i'm just taking out the vegetables although you can wash the pot if you want to wash the pot that pot but i'm not doing that because i need to maintain the flavor of the vegetable in my rice so well, guys next we are using our uh, coconut oil and then we are putting our garlic and also the onions so i've actually um grated the garlic in my chopper already so that is why you can see it this way and the reason why i'm using coconut oil you can use vegetable oil but i just wanted that coconut flavor in this rice please feel free to use vegetable oil feel free to use any type of oil you want to use so once i stir this and it is translucent enough then i'm just going to go ahead to pour my washed basmati rice i used aeroplane rice basmati rice in this video you can use any type of basmati rice you are comfortable with so guys i'm just going to go ahead to stir it the reason why they call this fried rice is because you, fry, you need to fry the rice before you cook it do you understand what i'm saying I, I hope i'm making sense so you need to fry it right by this time i guess with this process you are on by the time you try this recipe people will come up and ask you what are you cooking what did you add in your stew because the aroma would have filled your kitchen your house and then everybody will be in their mouth will be watering so guys i went ahead to keep stir frying this rice until when i'm sure that i have gotten the right consistency that i needed then once we are done with this we are going to go ahead to add other things to this rest i hope this video is helpful do you know what i'm asking because i really like you guys to comment on my videos and also encourage me to post more videos so guys the next thing i'm going to do is add pepper uh, if you are not comfortable with adding pepper to your rice you can do without this part but this is one of the highlights of the rice it's the one that brought out that color that color you saw in the beginning so now i've added the pepper and me yeah, i like adding pepper to my fried rice i am one person that likes that so now i'm going to add my goat meat stock to the rice and then we're going to just see if the goat meat stock is enough you don't need to add more water because you know basmati rice does not need a lot of water and you don't want to have soggy rice so now i'm just going to stir the rice and from what i can say i don't think i need a lot of water to cook this rice to be done maybe i'll just need to add a little water to the rice to cook because i don't want to end up with soggy rice so the next thing i'm just going to do is i'm going to add seasoning and salt to the rice because it is necessary i'm not adding korean thyme because korean thyme is already inside the goat meat stock that i added earlier and i don't want too much of korean thyme to dominate the the taste of this rice so guys see what our rice looks like now then we're just going to go ahead to cover this and i don't wanted the water to just fill everything up as you can see you can see that i added a little bit of water already so i will just cover it up to cook and i added a bit seasoning because when i added the water it was not really giving me the taste i actually wanted so i added a little bit of seasoning because i'm always conscious of my seasoning that i use especially because i've used goat meat stock already and that is already filled with seasoning so now our rice is well done you know we've edited this video so you don't expect that you should see the process of when the rice was cooking but it was just less than 20 minutes that the rice was done as you can see we have a very nice and see the rice now it's already coming together even without the vegetables yet see what we have already looking so lush and yummy and sumptuous <laughs> are you guys hungry already by now i'm sure you're just wondering like ah, so what is the next thing you're going to do now 
but you don't need to stress yourself too much by wondering we're adding our vegetables to this rice see left alone you know, this rice is already looking good like you can even eat it like this without the vegetables but well you know it is fried rice we are making so we need all those veggies all those veggies the colors so now see our colors ready for them in our vegetables and they are looking so good okay let's mix oh this is where the highlight is see the colors see i'm so pr sometimes like this when i cook i'm always like ah, so that like you can cook ha ah, ah you do cook fire so i'm just going to stir this together to let the vegetables marry the rice the mar rice should marry the vegetable they should meet as family and friends introduce themselves and say hi my name is veggies hi my name is rice please don't mind me so guys i'm just going to try to stir this together and make sure that the rice and the vegetables are well put together already so guys don't forget that we are making goat's meat fried rice and we've used goat's meat stock already that's one of the highlight of it and don't, by now you should know that i have cooked the goat's meat before now and then i have fried it so either that you've grilled your goat's meat or you're going to fry it before you use it for this recipe so guys see how the colors are looking so good and yummy sometimes like this type of food you just want to like do i need to save people let me just sit down and be eating my thing at home on my own i just i'm just showing you how good looking this rice is while i stir it and let it cook and dry up the water dries very well so our last stage is here adding the goat's meat to the rice so as i mentioned earlier i have fried the goat's meat already then i'm just i've added it already to the rice i think i missed this clip while i was shooting so as you can see the goat's meat now i cut them into chunks before i use them because we don't want to have big big bones and i make sure that i use the fleshy part of the goat's meat not the bone side because you know this is a rice recipe and we just need to be taking it with the rice so now i've added my spring my, my spring onions already i cut the spring onions already so i've added them and see how colorful our rice is looking and that is it all for this recipe what do you guys think do you think you'll be able to try this out do you think this recipe is very helpful do you think it is actually as good as what it looks <laughs> who wants to come for tasting one of these days so that you can come and eat and enjoy what what i have in my kitchen so guys, let me know what you think about this video in the comment section and don't forget to like, share my video and also drop a comment. Please, I am fully back on YouTube and I'm going to be posting more recipes now, long form and also on short. Please encourage me by engaging with my posts, sharing my videos and also dropping comments because your feedback also matters a lot to me and it's it pushes it pushes me to do more and also makes me happy i like to connect with you guys thanks for watching guys and let's enjoy so this is me serving my rice and i'm about to enjoy my sunday rice because i cooked this on a sunday and to be honest it was the best thing that happened to that day to me so guys what do you think about this video don't forget to comment like subscribe and share my video love you all bye